हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल फॉर द सोल्यूशन ऑफ सच प्रॉब्लम्स नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम इन दिस प्रॉब्लम वी आर गिवन दैट द फोर्स एक्सर्टेड बाय द प्लंजर ऑफ द सिलेंडर ए बी ऑन द डोर इज फोर फोर्टी न्यूटन डायरेक्टेड अलॉन्ग द लाइन ए बी राइट सो हेयर वी हैव दिस प्लंजर एंड दिस प्लंजर अप्लाइज द फोर्स ऑन दिस डोर राइट एंड दिस इज द टॉप व्यू ऑफ द डोर राइट सो इफ आई ड्रा दैट फोर्स so that force is acting from this point b towards a right and the magnitude of this force is how much so the magnitude of this force is 40 newtons and it is said that this force tends to keep the door closed right and we are asked to compute the moment of this force about hinge o right so the first part of this problem is that we need to find the moment of this force about this point o and all the dimensions are given so what we need to do is that to find the moment of this force this plunger force about this point o we will apply the wernicke's theorem right so we will resolve this force into its components and then we will find the moments of the the moment associated with the individual components of this force and then we will sum that moment so we will apply the wernicke's theorem right so now uh, we can resolve this force if we know this angle right so let me draw a triangle let's say that we have this triangle and this length is known this length is 100 meters and this length from a to this point b in horizontal direction is 400 mm right so let's say if this is our theta if i join this the line if, if i extend the line of action of this a b force so then this angle is let's say theta right so from this triangle we can find cos of theta so cos of theta will be equal to this base divided by hypotenuse right so base is 400 and the hypotenuse is ab and we do not know this ab length right so we can apply the pythagoras theorem to this right angle triangle and we can find this ab length so ab square will be equal to 400 square if we apply the pythagoras theorem so this is 400 square plus 100 square and if we take the square root so that will be the hypotenuse length so that ab length comes out to be 412.31 mm right so now this means that cos of theta will be 400 divided by 412.31 and similarly sin of theta will be equal to this 100 divided by this ab right so 100 divided by 412.31 right so this is the cos of theta and this is sin of theta So now if we resolve this uh, force this plunger force into its components right so it will have one component in this direction right and it will have one component in this direction So this one will be the sine component and this one will be the cos component right since this angle and this angle are same right so this one is the cos component right so this means that this is 40 cos of theta and this one is 40 sin of theta right and the perpendicular distance of this 40 cos of theta from this point o is this uh, 75 mm and the perpendicular distance of this 40 sin of theta from this point o is this 400 plus this 25 right so now we can find the moment about point o equals to and let's say that the counter clockwise moment is positive So now as we can see that uh, this cos component is producing the clockwise moment about this point o that will be minus 40 cos of theta so this is cos of theta so this is 400 divided by 412.31 into the perpendicular distance so the perpendicular distance of this 40 cos of theta from this point o is this 75 right so i will multiply this with 75 and similarly as we can see that this sine component is producing the clockwise moment about this point o as well right so i will write minus and this is 40 sin of theta and again sin of theta is equal to this ratio right so sin of theta is 100 divided by 412.31 right and the perpendicular distance of this sine component from this point o is this 400 plus 25 right so this is 425 mm So this equation will give us the moment of this plunger force about this point O. Now when we solve this so this moment comes out to be minus 7033 newton 
mm right so this means that this minus sign means that this is clockwise moment right and if we divide this by 1000 so then this moment about point o will be equal to 7.03 newton meters and then we will write that this is clockwise moment right now in the second part of this problem it is said that what force fc normal to the plane of the door must the door stop at c exert on the door so that the combined moment about o of the two forces is zero right so now at this point c we have to find the force fc right so if i draw if i represent that force fc at this point so then we are required to find the magnitude of fc such that the the combined moment of these two forces this 40 newton force of this plunger and this uh, the the moment produced by this fc force should cancel out and the moment about this point o is zero right so it is said that the combined moment about point o of the two forces is zero right so then we can say that the summation at of the moment of these two forces about point o must be equal to zero right so in order to find this fc so again if we say that the counterclockwise moment is positive right so now we know that the moment produced by this plunger force is this much right and this is clockwise right so i will write that this is minus and this is uh, minus 7033 newton mm right and as we can see that this fc is producing the uh, counterclockwise moment about this point o so this will be positive so i will write positive and this will be fc and the perpendicular distance of this fc from that point o is how much so this is 400 plus 400 plus 25 so this is 825 right so 825 equals to 0 so now fc will be equal to so this will be equal to 7033 divided by 825 so from this uh, ratio we can say that fc is equal to 8.5 3 newtons right so this much force will be applied at this point c to stop this door right so this is 8.53 newtons right so this is the solution of this particular problem